Hi Gemini, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, these readings are for your Sun, Moon and Ascendant sign, though if you're only going to... Uh, ooh, there's no astrology in these, should I say. So uh, watch them for all three so that you know which one you resonate with most as a reader. Uh, before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, like peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise. They help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So this week for your key to the week you have dun, dun, dun. all right the chariot card okay nice so this is going to be a very fast week i'm just going to tell you that straight up i mean you know to be fair as a gemini you love it fast uh, fast and furious baby uh, right so um but what whenever the chariot card shows up it does suggest that things are likely to start really speeding up so if you find that this week is a really quick week it wouldn't be a surprise uh, in all of these different areas of life, you might feel that things are really starting to heat up, to speed up, all of that kind of stuff. And it makes sense, right? At this point of this week, uh, you know, basically everything is direct, right? As In fact, as we get to the end of this week, everything is direct, right? Right the way through now until the 1st of uh, April. When I say everything is direct, I mean all of the planets in the sky, um, so you will be feeling that momentum this week. The one thing that I will say with the chariot card, I do urge a little bit of caution because, you know, this can sometimes lead to the tower. So you just want to like there's victory, there's success, there's fast movement, there's fast movement, fast moving energy is all great. But just make sure that you are taking time to read the signs and the signals on the road. Right. And what I mean by this is throughout your entire life as well. OK, now. If you would like to get a place on my tarot course, there are only 20 spots. So enrollment and enrollment for that is open now as we speak until the 31st of January, after which enrollment for the course closes. Uh, well, it, you know, either all 20 spots are filled. I love to make sure that I can give each student as much time as possible. I don't just want to fill it for the sake of filling it for numbers. So uh, groups are deliberately small. There are only 20 spaces. You get PDFs, you get a session with me every week. There are three Q and A's throughout the, the 12 weeks as well. You are going to get lots of it, right? Uh, by the time of the end of it, you're going to be sick of me. So if you would love to learn tarot, if you'd like to learn the way that I read and how I do it, you can hit the link on the description box below and check that out. And I believe there's one one or two spaces on the clearing cohort left. Uh, so if you would like to really immerse yourself in some very deep uh, work with astrology, numerology and uh, energy work, this is the session for you. All right. With that said, let's get into your cards. For your actions and options, you have the Queen of Cups. So first things first, a Cancerian woman is likely to feature for you in some way, shape or form this week, right? Queen of Cups, Water Sign Woman, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, chariot card cancer energy this is a cancer woman so she is a part of your path this week so this could be uh you know somebody that you're working with or alongside the queen of cups is also usually a universal significator for mother uh, so this could be something around your mum your you it could be around your mum or uh, one of the most important women in your life it could also be you as mother Right. So this in terms of all of your actions this week, you really are called upon to nurture and nourish something for the guys amongst you. There's something that you are going to be asked to really look after emotionally support on with or over over the course of this week. So you're being asked to tap into a side of you that is a little bit more uh, focused on the internal as opposed to the external right so for the guys among you i hope that speaks to you now for those uh, when it comes to the options that are available to you you have the option to really demonstrate or talk about how you feel about something this week so i will say when the opportunity arises remember what i said about the chariot card being really quick Try not just to gloss over it, right? Gemini tends to think it's feelings anyway. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm an air sign too, so, right, I get it. But I will say this week, when you're given the opportunity to open up and to talk about how you really feel about something, 
this week I would encourage and invite you to really talk about it, right? And to not just think about it and not just to theorize about it from a, vo- a verbal or an intell- intellectual perspective. Drop down into your heart and really search your feelings and bring those to the surface, all right? Now, when it comes to your communications and conversations, you have the page of cups. Whatever is happening when it comes to your work, your career, or your profession this week, you will be looking at revisiting, revising, or uh, redoing this when we get into uh, late June, early to mid July of 2024, right? So whatever's happening this week, it's going to have big ripples throughout the next uh, five, five-ish, five six months for you, right? So big stuff here coming up, I would say. Um, Now, the other thing with the page of cups in terms of the communications and the conversations and the quality of those, that page of cups, it really is a very feeling week, which is really interesting because you've got this really fast energy where you're having lots of personal success and potentially lots of personal growth as well. But it's all very focused. This is all water, right? Chariot card, water, Uh, queen of cups, water, page of cups, water. This is all about your emotions this week. It really is about how you feel. It's about how you really navigate and move through through and forward through life at the moment from that heart space. Uh, When it comes to the profession and even your uh, academic sphere, you're going to find that you are really very intuitive this week. You're just going to know what to say and when. And this isn't just coming from your mind. It's coming from your heart. Trust it. Follow it. For those of you that are studying or in some form of academia, that page of cups with the queen of cups, you could be given some kind of leadership this week because you demonstrate the understanding of the group from an emotional perspective. For those of you that are uh, employed by somebody else, one of the ways that this could show up, you could be given a leadership position uh, in a pastoral sense, right? So it's like you're, you know, someone says, look, wow, you know what? You seem to really understand how people feel on this. Are you interested in setting up a group or a committee of some sort? Are you uh, interested in taking point or lead on this assignment that we're all working on right now? This could be really great for you. And if you're willing to get into your emotional self to really be vulnerable and get into your feelings about all of this, this could be great. For those of you that are uh, business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves, I love this because it's like your future plans are starting now. You're really very focused on what things look like for you, how you want to move forward, where it is that you really want things to go. Like you're very clear on this at the moment, which I absolutely love. And it's like you're allowing your heart to lead you there. Um, I'm here for it all day long. For your those of you that are retired and no longer working for any reason, that page of cups, I actually see this, for you guys, I think this is different. I actually think this is some kind of support that's coming in for you. This And it's not necessarily because you're struggling with something. It might just be that you're like, well, you know, life is moving a million miles an hour at the moment. And maybe someone says to you, you know what, actually, I'd really like to help. I'd really like to support you. Be open to this because it can end up helping you forge new bonds. For your love and relations, you've got the Four of Swords. So for a select few of you that are in relationships, long term, you know, whether this is partnered, married, long term commitment. There is a possibility that you guys, from a heartfelt perspective, could say, I actually feel like we need a break at the moment, right? This isn't about splitting up. It really is one of those, and this, because lots of people say like, oh, you know, when you go on a break or you agree to a break, it just means that you're breaking up, but you can't do it all in one go. Nine times out of 10, that's probably fair to say and relatively true. This, however, is not one of those times. This is one of those times where what you need is a break. Whether this is you need some time to yourself, whether you need some time to think, whether you need some just some time away from the bloody kids so that you can, you know, right? This is you taking some time out. And I actually think this will be much better for the relationship. I think this is about personal care, self-care, but I also think it's about care for the relationship. There's a chance to stop and sit down and talk about where you're really at with your partner this week. And providing you don't rush through it, 
you could actually reach a, a really solid place where you're both on the same page. For those of you that are single and looking, this with the Four of Swords, whoever you meet this week is probably going to want to meet uh, or move at 100 miles an hour. You're not in that space right now. And it's a good and maybe just maybe you might want to as well. Because you've got the Four of Swords here, you are being urged to pump the brakes, take a minute, really see how it feels, what's going on, and then make your decision rather than just jumping straight into it. Now, before we move on to your money, I just want to say if you would like to get a tarot, astrology or numerology personal reading with me, you can do so on the link in the description box below. For your money and materials, you've got the strength card, right? So nice, really nice. Look at this as well, right? So you've got the chariot card, that's number seven. You've got the strength card right after, so seven and eight. This means that when it comes to your financial money, materials, your resources, things are starting to speed up. That strength card is actually wanting you to start thinking about some of the bigger financial goals that you uh, would like or to or require. But the strength card is also about going after them, right? You've got the victory and success in the chariot card. So with the strength card, you're being encouraged to find the, the guts, the emotion and the heart to really jump in, right? To go for this next financial bracket, whatever that looks like to you. The other thing with the strength card as well, um, how you make more money this week might actually come with some kind of physical input that is required. Maybe you need to travel for it. Maybe a friend of yours reaches out and says, oh, you know, I'd really like to... Um, What's the word? Uh, you know, yeah, I've got this, uh, you know, this that needs to be done. Uh, are you interested? Maybe someone reaches out and says, look, there's some weekend work going if you're interested. Something like that. But it might have a, a decidedly physical element to it. When it comes to your uh, physical health and vitality, the strength card is the body, right? And you've got this next to the chariot card. So I would say this week, uh, really do look after and support your chest as in your lungs, for women, your actual chest as well. Um, you know, this would be a good week to, there's nothing scary, but this would be a good week to have a checkup, right? To, or to do your self check. Uh, I know a lot of women do that um, and have been taught from, you know, whatever. Uh, so, you know, all of that kind of stuff, but also because the chariot card here is here as well, um, your stomach, what are you eating? How do you feel in the tummy? All of that kind of stuff, your gut stuff. Uh, and then finally, when it comes to your home and environment, the um, the strength card does suggest that there might need, to, there might be a need to make a move, possibly, right? To make a move that will require some strength, that will require some grit, that will require some, uh, you know, honest kind of uh, forward momentum. All right, with that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.